I'm showing you how to download Horizon Hack Client for the latest version of Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So to get to Horizon, you want to go over to Horizon.download, which is their official download website as you can see over here. There you want to click on this green download button. Now as you can see my downloads, I have the Horizon Injector.exe. Now cool about this is that there is no install process and it will just automatically launch as you can see. Now I can close my downloads, and Horizon currently works for Minecraft 1.20.30 all the way up to 1.20.32. So if that's one of your versions, then you are good to go and inject. Quick intermission to say that this video is sponsored by me, and I'd greatly appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button. You know, to show some appreciation for me helping you out here. Now, if you want to use Horizon for a previous version of Minecraft, then I've actually got a tutorial on that. As well as if you're experiencing any crashing issues, then trust me, you're not alone in this, and there are a lot of people who experience those. So much so that I've also made videos on that, which will once again be linked in the description if you require them. So here we are, I've loaded into a world, and you can see that it's enabled. Now if Minecraft actually crashes whilst you are loading into a world, then what I recommend you do is to load into the world first before actually injecting Horizon. Anyways, I'm now quickly going to show you how you can use it, and if you want a further in more in-depth tutorial, then I actually have that as well, and that is going to be linked down in the description below. Anyways, let's start off with this brief little tutorial. To open up the menu, you want to press on the insert key, and as you see, that is going to open all this up. Now, some people don't have an insert key on their keyboard, or what if you just want to rebind it in general? Well then open up the chat and type in dot bind, just like that. Then type in click GUI like so, and then any key you want. For example, F, just like that. Now as you can see, the key bind of click GUI is F, and if when I press on the F key, it has now opened up this menu. Perfect. To enable something, you can just click on it, and to disable something, you want it to have this blue, which means that it is enabled, and you can click on it once again. Now you can also right click on specific hacks to um, edit them as well as configure them to your own needs. That is only with the hacks that have a plus right over here. Now as you can see when I close this, which I can do by pressing escape or by pressing our keybind again, um, there are stuff on our screen that um, show Horizon is injected as you can see the top left as well as top right hand sides of our screen. To disable those, you can open up your menu and then turn off the array list as well as the tab GUI. Then, as you can see, we can close the hack menu and open it up, but there will be no more menus left on our screen, which is definitely pretty useful as it avoids clogging. Anyways, um, that's basically all for the hack menu. Now, as you guys know, there are also commands or most of you do seem to know that, um, just like the one we just used, dot .bind. Um, now you can use that dot .bind command to bind any of these hacks. To use it, you type in chat dot .bind, then the name of whatever um, this here is, and then type in any key to use them. However, that's actually one of the only commands that works, and most commands don't actually work anymore um, and well they do but they only work for local worlds so commands like dot give dot enchant and stuff like that um, they aren't going to work for servers as well as realms I get a lot of lot of questions about that which is one of the reasons that I've actually also made a video on that if you want to go check that out um, understand exactly why that's happening that is going to be linked in the description um, Anyways, basically, you know, there's nothing you can do about that, and in response to the question, is it going to get fixed soon, the answer to that is a 99% no. Yeah, so, you know, we'll just have to see, but don't bet on it getting fixed ever. Um, anyways, basically, that was that. If you do have any further questions or something like that, then feel free to leave those down in the comments below. For right now, though, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.